Even though the Sith for most of their history were widely considered as egotistic beings with no limit to their quest for power which led to them killing each other instead of progressing, it did not stop Darth Bane in creating what we now know as the Rule of Two. The Rule of Two states that there should only be two Sith at one time, a master and an apprentice, guaranteeing that when the apprentice becomes powerful enough in the ways of the dark side to take the title of the master, only then would they be worthy of the title. This transfer of power would only take place when the apprentice kills his master and finds a worthy student to repeat the cycle. This way the Sith grow more and more powerful and still exist through the new master. Knowing this, Darth Vader was aware that he could not bring down Palpatine and become the new Sith Master on his own, which led to his secret search for his own apprentice or something that could increase his own power. He started to pursue an ancient Sith artifact known as the Moor Talisman. After interrogating a sentient named Jenks, he learned that Jenks's ship, the Uhumele, was carrying a mysterious crate. Vader then contacted Fane Paturi, a well-known historian, in order to set a trap for the Uhumele crew. Darth Vader discovered that the crate in their possession was none other than the Drapa Obliate, an artifact believed to contain the Moor Talisman and the Jedi who wore it. Darth Vader was in shock as he opened the Obliate, releasing Jedi Shadow Celeste Morn from her 4,000 year sleep. When Morn woke up, she was shocked to learn that the Sith were now in control of the galaxy. Without hesitation, she immediately attacked Darth Vader, but to her surprise, he easily held her off and even taunted her with an offer that she was to become his new apprentice. She, of course, immediately refused as Vader began to consider the idea of taking the talisman and increasing his own power. Of course, it sounded like a great and easy way for Vader to achieve ultimate power, but he still feared the artifact and was concerned that even if he used it to destroy Sidious, he would become enslaved to the talisman and would ultimately be just trading one master for another. As Vader was still reluctant to make a decision, it was time for Morn to take action. Unwilling to let the Sith Lord be possessed by the spirit of Karnas Moor, she used the talisman to turn all the humans that were in the vicinity into Ra'ghuls. Vader was surprised by the turn of events and instead of facing them he retreated to his ship and departed. In the end he considered this expedition a failure, but nonetheless refused to give up his search for an apprentice. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos. Have a fun day and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.